Your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, the orange is the first of many heat advisories that will be issued by the National Weather Service for much of the Midwest this weekend. The Indianapolis office went ahead and put out the heat advisory, but I'm sure more will follow suit as the big upper ridge, the main heat wave expands northward with time and right on the periphery of the heat wave. We've got clusters of storms. Now these organized severe storms in Iowa will tend to lift northward with time. However, uh, there is a little warm front or a little dew point front down to the south. We were talking about this last night, maybe an isolated storm tonight along that front, and it's pretty much right down here and south of here. Dew points are in the 60s. It is muggy north of there. It's a dry heat. And also south of here, temperatures are warming up actually into the mid 90s in places. So as this lifts northward tonight, we'll see a few more little isolated storms pop. We had a little shower that faded away down here towards Georgetown, Illinois, but also a few more in the Indy metro area moving northward towards Tipton. And this will be the case late this evening into tonight. Maybe a couple isolated storms in the viewing area. Otherwise, the main weather story will be the heat. Speaking of the heat, kind of hot this evening, 91, 7, 84 degrees at 9 o'clock and at 11, 77 wind southeast, couple isolated storms around 9 o'clock onward. All time May heat records in jeopardy this weekend, specifically on Sunday when some areas may top 100 heat index as high as 105 and then some relief, some storms Monday afternoon and evening with 45% coverage. So not all of you are going to get a good soaking rain, but there will be some storms around and a severe threat mainly north of Lafayette before much cooler air arrives. Tonight, generally upper 60s, 65 to about 70 area wide and tomorrow 90s area wide, 95 Lafayette, 95 Monticello, 96 Pence and a 93 at Winnemac. At least there'll be sort of a breeze tomorrow, but uh, the humidity will definitely be up, so it's going to feel more like 100. And then Sunday, these are at, if not breaking, all time record high temperatures for the month of May. You know, we tied it back in March with 87. We're going to do it again, possibly here in May. 99 at Winnemac, 100 at Morocco, 97 Lafayette and Fowler, and about 95 at Atlanta, even Kentland, 98 degrees. The heat index easily to 105. Then we'll finally get some storms in here once we get into Memorial Day. So a couple isolated storms tonight. We're dry tomorrow at 95, 97 on Sunday. Some scattered storms on Monday afternoon and evening. Severe threat north of Lafayette. And then after a shower early Tuesday, it's back down to 81 Then 73 Wednesday. And we may actually get a few showers and thunderstorms as we end next week and it will cool off north of that warm front. Some showers Friday and a high of only 72, but don't let that fool you because uh, it does appear there's a pretty substantial heat wave on the way as we get into June. So a little cool down there below normal, but um, the 90s and N100 are not far behind after that. Wow. Well, that yeah. relief will feel nice then after uh, the 90s this <laughs> yeah, week. It will. 72 will feel cold. Okay, Chad, yeah. thank you.